When talking about force and wrapping, I use this code. Let stir equals string 5, let num equals int stir. That converts a string to an integer, but because you might try to pass any string there, what you actually get back is an optional integer. This is a failable initializer, an initializer that might work or might not. You can write these in your own structs and classes by using init question mark rather than init, and return nil if something goes wrong. The return value will then be an optional of your type, for you to unwrap however you want. As an example, we could code a person struct that must be created using a nine letter ID string. If anything other than a nine letter string is used, we'll return nil, otherwise we'll continue as normal. Here's that in Swift. Struct person, var ID string, init question mark ID string, if id.count is nine, self.id is id, else, return nil, end the if, end the init, end the struct.